handles inserting the values into the database. So what we're going to do underneath all these if statements, so we're going to say if empty, and then we're going to put uh, the error array inside there. This is saying that if there's no errors, if that array is empty, because we only push these values onto the into the array if there's an error. So if there's no errors, nothing would have been pushed onto the array. So the array will be empty. So if it's empty, it means there's been no errors. So we'll continue to to insert the values into the database. We'll say password equals md5 password. What this does is encrypts the password into a long st string, which you won't understand. Uh, nobody will understand it. So this hides the password from us so that even in the database, we can't look at the value of it. You'll see what that means in a minute when you look at the database. So um, crypt password before sending to database. Okay, now we'll go down. I'm going to create a username right here. We're going to automatically create it for them. They won't be able to make it themselves. So generate username by concatenating concatenating first name and last name. You'll see what this does in a minute. I'll explain what I'm doing. So username equals str to lower, string to lower, so all in lowercase, because remember at the start we capitalized the first letters of the first and last name, so we're going to put it all to lowercase again. Inside the brackets we'll put f name, okay, dot, which means add to a string. Inside double quotes we'll put underscore dot l name. I'll just put little spaces afterwards to make it a little bit easier to read. So first name underscore l name that adds it together. So now we're going to do a check that if the first name underscore last name has already been used as a database, i.e. if someone with the same name as you somewhere else in the world has already signed up and they have the username of that underscore that. So we'll do dollar sign check user username query equals my SQL I query I just spelled that wrong one I my SQL I query inside the brackets we'll put con our connection variable we created double quotes select username from um, users where username equals single quotes inside the single quotes we'll put dollar sign username this is going to check to see if anyone has that username inside the database and now we'll say dollar sign i equals zero I'll explain what this does in a minute just follow along for now comment if username exists add number two username okay I'll show you that now we're gonna say while my SQL I num rows brackets check username query this query we created up here so like that oh inside here we need to put is not equal to zero my mistake so while the number of rows it has is not equal to zero inside this while loop we're going to say i plus plus which adds which adds one to this same as doing i equals i plus one it's all the same oh wouldn't i is it that's all the same as that that's all the same as doing this sorry okay add one to i and we'll say username equals username dot I do double quotes with an underscore dot I okay and then one last line before I explain all this check username query the user same name here as we're using up here equals my SQL I query brackets dollar sign con the connection variable and we'll say exactly the same thing as we did up here.
in theory we could have just copy and pasted all that but okay here we go uh, same query again okay and I'll explain what that does so it's checking to see like for example my name Rhys Kenny if I signed up it would create a username uh, like this so that, that would be my username right there okay but now if someone already has that, someone with Reese Kenny, the name Reese Kenny has already signed up, it would it would uh, create my name Reese Kenny. Okay, check that in a database. It would find a match because someone else already has it, and then it would do this part down here. This is saying that uh, add one, add i right here, the value of i, which happens to be one the f first time round, to the username, which would give me uh, this, like that. Okay, and if someone else already has that one, i.e. another person with the name Reese Kenny in there, it will add it will do this again and it will add one again to it and add it to the username. So two and check if that one exists. And it'll just keep adding a number until someone with that username doesn't exist. So my username would be that if there was that many people with that name. Okay?